So, for some reason, I got stuck in the Full Moon universe and ended up tackling Charles Band's 2007 effort, Dead Man's Hand, Casino of the Damned. Some kid inherits an abandoned casino, and he and his friends hit the road to look into it. As it turns out, the 40th anniversary of a local casino massacre is fast approaching, and of course, when you mix a random anniversary with the appearance from someone in the bloodline, you get spooky goings-on. Dead Man's Hand is only an 80-minute movie, but it takes forever for something to happen. It's at least 45 minutes before genre legends Sid Haig and Michael Berryman show up, and even after that, they're only in a handful of scenes. The rest of the time is spent with these kids, or the murder fodder, and most of them aren't exactly endearing. We get an odd, almost lesbian encounter out of nowhere, but that goes nowhere as well. You should have told me you were interested. I couldn't, that would... You know, some of us have wondered about you, whether you swing that way or not. I'm so embarrassed right now. Can you... Please don't tell anybody. Thank you. Hey, um, can you, can you do me a favor? Whatever you want, sweetie. Um, how about a free membership to your website? How about I do you one better? Overall, the characters are annoying cliches, but at least they're well acted, which is a nice change of pace. But just like nearly every other horror movie I'm watching this year, it ends so badly. I don't want to say anything else too harsh about the film, since I've met Sid Haig twice now, and have no doubts he'd hunt me down and murder me. So, I'm giving it a couple stars. Another pass on the script might have helped the pacing problems that sucked all the fun out of the film, and could have helped make this thing enjoyable. (laughs) 